making waves in the world of surfing. At 150 metres, this lagoon in a small village in North Wales has the longest man-made breakers on the planet. Surf champ Joe Dennison says it's the perfect training ground. The waves are fantastic. Um, you get a wave every 60 seconds. It's just a brilliant way to practice your surfing, your manoeuvres. Um, you're guaranteed the same wave every time, so it's just a, a brilliant environment to learn how to surf. Three, two, one, go! Surfing isn't the only innovative adventure sport helping to turn Snowdonia into one of the UK's premier adventure playgrounds. The National Park also has the longest, fastest and biggest zip centres in Europe. The activities are helping regenerate an area hit hard by the decline in mining and industry, while also making use of the landscape. This surreal subterranean play park was built in an old slate mine. For young people, um, we're providing a, a, an excellent place for them to work. We're providing them with some amazing training. It's really attractive for young people um, to stay around here and work. Whereas when I was young, it wasn't very attractive. Outdoor tourism, including more traditional ventures like hiking, climbing and mountain biking, are worth £481 million a year to the Welsh economy and provide more than 8,000 full-time jobs. The government is trumpeting 2016 as the Welsh Year of Adventure and says outdoor sports have a knock-on positive effect. It's creating a destination. It means that people are here not for the day, on a day trip. They can stay for a week, a fortnight, and there's enough to do. So that in itself then um, offers opportunity for hotels, um, restaurants, um, and again, opportunities for employment that come with that. Surf Snowdonia could be a model for that type of tourism, with families and beginners coming to practice on the smaller waves. But the lagoon could also help surfing in its bid for a place at the Tokyo Olympics in 2020 by providing a consistent, if not exactly level, playing field.